Uh, hello, my name is Isabel Baltenbeck. I'm an economist. I'm the program leader of uh, livelihoods, gender and impact at IRI, based in, in Nairobi. I want to tell you about more, a bit more about how gender is being integrated in the knife stock and fish CRP from the start until now, which is we are about to hopefully start the phase two of, uh, of the CRP work. Um, when the knife stock and fish proposal was was developed, I think we got really lucky in getting it getting gender well integrated into the proposal from from day one. Um, you know, thanks to to Java Majuki, who was at that time a uh, gender scientist at Adiri, she really, I believe, put the basis uh, into that proposal. And, and as well, so as we the work started, the integration started quite successfully. And uh, even though you know staff changes and things have that, you know, we were able to 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 base our work on a on a well grounded gender strategy. Uh, but I believe all the four centers in the CRP are able to understand and are implementing and looking at how we, we move uh, uh, forward from uh, output to, uh, to outcomes. Um, when maybe we were got, we got more careful about ensuring that we spend uh, sufficiently quality money on 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 gender, um, the gender initiative took place and initiated by the Life to and Fish Management, and then Kit was uh, joined us in a way, and uh, this great adventure continued with uh, with the Kit uh, the Kit colleagues, and uh, through um, an open call. That, um, that clearly said that not only you will be able to tap into new funding to integrate gender in your, in your work, but as well you will get expertise, support through a coaching process. We got really good, great feedback, overwhelming positive feedback, maybe too much in a way, because uh, we had 20 or so positive uh, proposals. And, and therefore, when we had to make actually decisions on which one to take on, um, and looking at you know being fair in terms of um, criteria, looking at uh, having all the flagships represented, all the value chains represented, at least the one who applied, obviously Ethiopia, Tanzania, Nicaragua, um, and all of those, and as well uh, the different centers, obviously, then the the coaching process really took uh, took place. And uh, as we are here this week writing some of us, uh, the result of some of those uh, coach project, I think we really see the way how gender has, you know, the interest in integrating gender in our work has really helped the different centers to come together around this special topic that actually we can all relate to. Whether I believe economists like me working on value chains or um, breeders, geneticists, uh, field specialists. We are actually all look, working with human subjects, men and women, and therefore gender does bring us together. And um, as we as well know, uh, working on the proposal for the second phase of the, of the CRP, we actually see really interest, genuine interest in uh, by by all the flagships, I would say, all the technical teams as well, in ensuring that gender is integrated from the beginning of uh, of their work. You know, if I develop this vaccine, you know, what does it mean for men and women, for example, uh, to, you know, assessment and things like that. So I believe the work we've started with what we're currently doing on gender in the Livestock and Fish CRP, I believe he has it will really have a strong basis for future work in, in the second phase of the CRP. So the gender initiative may, may evolve depending as well on how the different centers um, you know, seize gender and how they want to, to, to source it in terms of technical expertise. Uh, but I think the spirit of working collaboratively and uh, you know, looking at external expertise as well outside the CG, we've seen the value of that, and uh, you know, I, I believe this is a value of most of my colleagues have seen it. So, in a way, or in a way or another, I think we will, we'll, we will continue this collaboration somehow. And uh, I look forward to continuing working with my colleagues from all the centres uh, on that great adventure.